So hello and welcome to history classes. This is class nine Seba history textbook and we are doing chapter number four which is Burmese invasion of Assam. Our topic is the English march towards Upper Assam. So let us begin. So uh, British forces had occupied Guwahati region or the lower Assam and the Burmese continued their rule in the Upper Assam. So to drive away from there the English forces, what they did was they were advancing towards Dorhat. So, consequently, they occupied Nogao, Raha, Kalyabar, and other adjoining places towards Upper Assam. Then, British or Burmese forces ke beech mein larai hoti hai Moramukh naam ki jagah mein, jahan pe Burmese ko defeat kar diya jata hai by the English forces. So, Burmese kya karna cha chalu karte hai? They started to retreat or go back behind. Okay, just as the enemy advanced kar hai, English forces advanced kar hai, they are going backwards. So, English pers pursued them to Jorhat. So, under the command of Captain Lieutenant Nyopil, they captured, English forces captured Jorhat on 17 December 1825. So, Burmese further retreated to a place called Gorisagar. Jahan pe bhi unka defeat kar diya gaya by the English forces. So, after much, the defeat of Burmese at Gauri Sagar, Burmese were no longer interested in Assam and they decided that they should go back to their country. So, they were returning to their homeland. To retreat kar rahe the. Uh, so, from Jorhat they were uh, drive out. So, they were retreating towards eastern part of Assam. Waha se they were returning to their country Myanmar. It was their part, okay. So while retreating, what they did was Burmese army, along with some section, uh, along with Singpos, a tribe. So unke saath milkar eastern parts of Assam mein bahut hi loot and plunder kiya, okay. So jaise jaise Burmese army ja rahi thi, unke saamne jitne bhi villages aa rahe the, unko loot and plunder karte hue ja rahe the. And fir us region ke sadyak hua gohai aur motibar senapati ne english se help mangi against singpos and burmese so consequently english forces defeated singpos in june 1825 and burmese continued their plundering spree while retreating so english commander pemberton ne measure liya to drive out burmese completely from manipur so we already know that burmese had captured manipur before <laughs> so uh, so Assam may Burmese ko drive out karna pura, um, it was successful. Then the other force which we had studied in the last class that under, one force under Sir Archibald Campbell which were advancing up to Iravadi to Rangoon, okay, the capital of Burma. They had reached Burma and the Burmese king had completely failed to stop the advancing English force in their country. And English army had occupied the town of Landabu in Burma, and consequently the king surrendered and signed a peace treaty with the English. The Burmese king surrendered or peace treaty signed करते हैं और इसी peace treaty को बोला जाता है Treaty of Yandabu, and it was signed on 24th February 1826. And this treaty marked the end of the first Anglo-Burmish Burmish war. Okay. So, Article 2 is treaty ka Assam se concerned tha. What are articles the treaty mein? So, Article 2, ya fi Chapter 2, you can understand like this. Chapter 2 dealt with Assam. So, King of Awa, ya fi Burma, unhoni saare Assam ke oopar jitne bhi claims te, wo sab renounce kar diye, chhoor diya, that he is no longer interested in Assam and he will, or no other king from Burma will be interested in Assam in future also. So, Immediately, Burmese left and English forces now became the rulers of Assam. So, this is one thing to note karne ki ye hai ki Assam ki side se koi bhi treaty mein shamil nahi tha. This treaty was between the two foreign powers. We can say that one on the one side there was English and one side there was King of Burma. Or un dono ne hi decide kar liya that English should be the ruler of Assam. So, Chandrakanta Singha or Purandar Singha, Jogeshwar Singha, they were the deposed ruler or unki paas utni power nahi thi ki they can claim Assam as their own country. So, unko side mein hi rakya gaya, jorhat aane ke liye mana kar diya gaya, English dwara. 
because now English were the master of Assam. So Chandrakanta began to stay in Guwahati and Jogeshwar Singha was staying at Jogupa where he died consequently and Chandrakanta also died in Guwahati only. Okay. So this is the end of this topic. See you in the next class. Thank you.